shepherd to his wife. The crop of hay is crop and dry. I'll bail it up and bring it in before the coming storm begins. He turned the seed into the ground. He brought the flock to feed them. He held the cleaver and the plow. And a shepherd's work was never done. Not too shabby for 12 bucks, huh? Man, didn't that clean up nice? I can't wait to paint it. You know, they always look nice when they're raw metal, but they look nice when they're painted too. I'm so happy I was able to save the original handle. Now, I'm not done yet. I'm still gonna have to make a handle. There's a hold handle for this. So when you're using it, you can crank with your dominant hand and then you can hold there and push the pressure on it. You know, when I got it, you probably remember it just had this bolt in there. The original handle had either been broken or lost. So I'll make a new handle for it. Um, and we'll try to copy this, I'll try to match this shape and make it out of hickory. So um, now we've got to decide on what color to paint it. Um, please put your recommendations in the comment section and, and whoever picks the color that I like, we, or the, whoever, I, whoever is it, we're both in agreement uh, and mentions it first, then I'll um, certainly give you an honorable note in the, in the next video. But uh, how about the, the level bubble? I'm thinking black body, I don't think that's negotiable. One thing I did upgrade uh, was, you see this copper washer right there? That wasn't there originally. Uh, the reason was is that this had worn and it was it just flip-flopped. And so I, every time I picked it up, the, the ring gear would fall out. And I was afraid that it was going to, um, I was gonna break it, break the handle or something. So I, I found in my granddad's bolt bin, that little copper washer off of an old brake line and it fits perfect on the shoulder and it's just thick enough where I can put a little tension on there because I, you know, realistically, I'm not gonna move this back and forth very often. And if I do, you know, what do I need? A screwdriver, pocket knife, so it's, it's okay. All right, so also coming up, and uh, one thing I wanna share with you, if you look over here to the right, you'll see a beautiful set of Irwin vintage drill bits starting with a 16, they're marked here up on the up on the shank part there, all the way down, a complete matching set all the way down to a four. These were a gift from my subscriber, Old Sneelock. And I wanna thank you, Sneelock, for that. These are a beautiful set. Not only did he send these to me, but he restored them all. He sharpened each one, coated each one with wax and protected them. And you can see the white stuff on there. That's just a little bit of the styrofoam from the packing I unpacked, but they are a beautiful, beautiful set. I didn't have any, all I had was just two or three that I'd got from my grandfather. They, they were, I didn't have a complete set. And don't get excited, you metric guys. This 16 doesn't mean 16 millimeters. This is just the way they were numbered. We don't have any, any hateful metric bit and brace bits around here. I'll guarantee you that. So also, I'm gonna put in the subject heading, Sneelock, old Sneelock is a drill, he's really good at sharpening drill bits and he's got a video on it, on how to do it. I've been asked that question a lot and it's something that I have um, been wanting to do. I just haven't got around to it, because I, well, I didn't have a set of bits and now I've got bits and they're sharp so I don't need to do the video. Uh, so I'll put in the subject heading a link to him and please go on over there and, and say hello and tell him thank you. Uh, for me uh, for providing this beautiful set of tools. Um, the timing was just perfect uh, that they showed up right before uh, we got this old drill done. So I think it turned out great. So give me your recommendations for color and now I'll be on the hunt for a smaller version of these. They make a little one uh, for doing smaller holes. I'll keep my eyes open for one of those and maybe we can restore one of those. But um, another beautiful addition to the toolbox. So thanks for watching and we'll see you guys on the next video.
in here, but I'll just put that in there. Lubricate that. You can see it spins really nice now. Nice and free.